So this is my Radex Geiger counter that I got uh, for measuring beta and gamma particles. Right now you can see it's on, it's currently measuring uh, background radiation, so about 0.08 microsieverts per hour. The reading updates about every 10 seconds with what radiation levels it's reading. And then what's really cool about this Geiger counter is you can plug it into a computer because it saves all of the data every minute, so you can kind of track how much radiation you've been receiving over the period of time. This is a cesium-137 isotope. I bought it from a company called Spectrum Techniques, and they produce a bunch of radioisotopes um, in the form of like disk sources that you can buy for things like Geiger counters, um, just to test them out or calibrate them. So, as you can see, when this is moved aside, um, radiation levels are pretty low still. It's just reading about background radiation. However, um, right now the cesium disk is inside a lead casing. So even in the lead casing, you can see that it's uh, producing gamma and beta particles. So at every 10 seconds, the reading will update. And you can see already, it's producing about 1.64 microsieverts per hour, which is a lot more than just typical background radiation. Um, and that's just still in the lead case. And if you move the source away, it'll slowly drop back down to normal background radiation levels. Um, as you can see, like even though the source is just right next to the Geiger counter, it's not reading many particles from it because of the inverse square law. The farther away you get from the test source, uh, the weaker the radiation is from it. So um, exempt sources like this are pretty much safe as long as you're not keeping them in your pocket all day. Um, but now let's see what it looks like when you take off the lead shielding. Alright, so now I'm going to take the cesium disc out of the lead shielding. As you can see here, it's produced on November 2013, and it has a half-life of about 30 years. So, I put the guy counter over this disc without the lead shield. In about 10 seconds, it'll update. As you can see, that's quite a bit more than it was in the light casing, about 9.16 microsieverts per hour. And depending on where you move the guy counter around, um, you'll get higher readings. The highest reading I've gotten from this so far is about 27 microsieverts per hour. Not 10.2. 10 10 um, also, if you flip the disc over, yeah. So I believe the cesiums actually played it, or the actual cesium is directly under the bottom of the disc, because you typically get a lot higher readings uh, when you read it from the back. Uh, about 25 microsieverts per hour is what this puts out. And even though the disc is just a few inches away, this will slowly drop back down to normal background radiation. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, make sure you let me know and I'll definitely get back to you.